All right, everybody, Rhino here, the world's strongest pro bodybuilder, founder of the Vertical Diet. So just, you know, just playing it by ear here. I've got to fly out of here in a few hours to Fort Worth, Texas. Got a seminar down there. But it's lunchtime. I got to eat and I got to prep a meal to take with me and show you kind of how I pack food for the road. And I try to make this as convenient as possible. Compliance is the science. So I want to be able to come in and make a quick meal. One thing I already did, which I do about two times a week, is I already barbecued all of my meats. Uh, generally just some bison burger or some beef. I'll grill up 12 patties and then I'll cool them and I'll put them in the fridge in a Ziploc baggie so that I can make my meals in just a few minutes. And let's go through that today. So first things first, I've got some, uh, I'm going to have some eggs and some beef. So I heat up my grill, a couple pans here, throw a little butter in there. That's just to keep it from sticking. So. Next, I need some eggs. I'll do four with each meal. So I'm prepping four, me four eggs now, and I'll prep four eggs for my to-go meal and get those ready. And then I'll get my, uh, my mash going, my burger going. Remember I said I already grilled up my burgers and I cool them and I put them in a Ziploc baggie. And then of course I've got my bone broth. I keep all of my utensils, the stuff that I use, I just wash it and leave it right here so it's really easy for me to prep these meals. It only takes a couple of minutes. And I'll just pull out a, a burger here. I'm actually going to do two because I'm doing one meal now and one for the road. So this is two, two servings. I'll load up some bone broth on there. I'll pop these in the microwave for uh, probably four minutes. So my butter's melted, time to put the eggs in. I just like to condition the pan. I don't really pour a ton of butter in there for any specific reason. It's just to keep it from sticking. Turn that temperature down, crack some eggs. And yes, I try and eat three or four eggs with every meal. And no, it doesn't raise your cholesterol. It's fantastic. It's like nature's multivitamin. Choline's a big, huge deal. If you can get 1,000 milligrams of choline today, or every day, that'll uh, prevent fatty liver disease. That's important for folks who are eating lots of food. Along with all the biotin, K2, Everything you can imagine is in my eggs. So that's a meal now and a meal later. Put this stuff away. I also like to get some dairy. I like uh, yogurt. Use a Greek yogurt. This one's from Trader Joe's. It tastes amazing. And carrots, as you know. So I'll just put these on the table while we're waiting for the food to cook. And just to save time, I like to make my eggs over easy. I don't like to overcook the yolk. I'm concerned about oxidizing the fats. Probably a little picky, but I like to do them over easy. So I just flip them one time. And I just turn that grill off, and now they're done. This one's cooking a little bit slower. And it's sticking to the pan. I didn't use enough butter. Flip those over. So I've got my eggs. I've got my monster mash. Um, some folks might ask about the rice and the Monster Mash. Well, right now, I'm not eating as much rice. I don't really have the workload to justify it, to be honest with you. Uh, so if I did do rice, I'd either have my rice cooker going, or i use this BB Go white rice. And you just flip this lid up, I'd pop it in the microwave for 90 seconds, and it would be ready right with all of my food. But I'm not using much white rice now. I'm eating mostly fruit, which reminds me, it's a good time I could peel my orange. So I'll jump on that. 
As you know, I eat a piece of fruit with about every meal. It could be any juicy fruit, oranges, blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, melons. It's fine. Get some good potassium in there. Great for energy, it's my metabolism, hot. So I'll add an orange to this meal. And it looks like my monster mash is done. So pop that right there. I forgot to turn this one off. So those are well done. Now I got this. This thing's awesome. This is uh, something that some, one of my friends on Instagram sent me a DM. This little tool right here, this Monster Mash tool, magic. I think just picked it up on Amazon. So I ordered it up and it helps me make my mash. He did the mash. He did the Monster Mash. And so I just mash that up. I toss my egg in there. Some folks will toss their rice in. I'm not doing rice right now. I just mash all this up. This little tool here is the bomb. It's been life changing. I used to use a fork. This is the Monster Mash tool. Look at that baby. Monster Mash tool. Amazon. I might even put a link up on the video. Help you guys out like I got help. There it is. There's my mash. It's ready for the road. Put a little bit of uh, salt on there. Of course, you know I like my Redmond Real salt, or you can use iodized salt. I use some cranberry juice every morning, so I'm getting plenty of iodine. So I just salt to taste. And now, I've got my lunch and I've got my to-go meal. Remember, I made two. So I'll grab my thermos. Right here, I got my thermos, 20 bucks on Amazon. So keep it hot for like 12 hours. So what I do is I'll just spoon up. Usually I got a larger spoon. But I'll just spoon half of this right into the thermos. It's making two meals in one. It saves me a lot of time. It's convenient on the road. Now, pro tip, you're going to want to rinse this rim off right here. You always want to keep the rim, the threads on this thing dry and clean because that food won't taste too good in six hours or whatever. I'll probably eat this in four hours, but it'll be nice and hot when I open it up. I'll probably be eating it while I'm sitting on the plane. Everybody else is eating pretzels. And that meal I take with me on the road. I might make two of them if I have a longer trip, but it's only a two-hour flight. So now I've got my Monster Mash, I've got my whole lunch here, my Monster Mash, my carrots, my yogurt, my orange, so I'll sit down and I'll eat that. Now, sometimes I don't have time to make a meal, or maybe you don't have time to make a meal, uh, then we can just use, obviously, the vertical diet meal prep, right in here. Boom. So I could do everything I just did, I just pull out a couple of these, world's strongest Monster Mash with egg. Or the ground beef monster mash deluxe with uh, spinach and peppers and I would just pop these in the microwaves and they'd be ready in about probably seven minutes because they're frozen. What I also do since I'm going to be on the road this weekend uh, I'm going to take my meals with me and I either the night before I'm prepping all my meals and putting them in Tupperware and freezing them so I can take them on the plane or I'm just going to come in here and grab as many meals as I need for the trip be gone for two days, so I'd probably like to have about eight meals for a day. When I land, I like to stop at like a Walmart or someplace and I'll get a thing of yogurt, and I'll get some oranges, and I'll get some carrots. But I'll stay someplace with a microwave and a fridge. And then I'll be able to cook these. I got a salmon meal in here, I've got a breakfast scramble, I've got my bison monster mash, I've got my world's strongest mash with egg. So I've got a whole weekend worth of food. I've got this great bag from uh, Colorado Craft Beef. That was awesome. It's an insulated bag. I zip this up like so. 
I'm just going to drop that right into my checked bag, my luggage. I'm going to roll it right onto the plane, check it, and when I get off, it'll still be nice and frozen. Take it to my hotel. I'll have meals for the whole weekend. So I think that's about a wrap. Time to sit down and eat my lunch. I don't know how long that took. It couldn't have been more than, what, six, seven minutes? This is the way I operate just about every day. It's convenient. Tastes delicious. Monster mash. And trust me, this one here, even without the rice, tastes amazing. We've got some low-carb meals at the Vertical Diet menu at theverticaldiet.com, and those will come without rice as well, so you can, if you're on a low-carb diet. I get my carbs now from fruit and from the lactose in the dairy. Probably only taking in 100, 130 grams of carbs right now. I'm only doing the three 10-minute walks. My lifting sessions are probably less than an hour. I don't need a ton of carbs. I feel great. Uh, that way, I'm, I'm kind of satiated more. If I eat fewer carbs, I'm not hungry as much and I can go longer without getting hungry. So if I'm flying or something, I can eat every four or five hours and not be uh, hungry all the time. So there you have it, standefforting.com or theverticaldiet.com. Meal prep, meals in a minute or six or eight or 10 minutes, whatever it took, and uh, meals for the road. There you go. Thanks for tuning in.